Hello and welcome to this screencast about how to score events in your Skyward Standards Gradebook. Again, this screencast is for anyone teaching in grades K through 2 because if you are in grades 3 through 12, you have a secondary gradebook which looks quite different. So, we're looking at just the Standards Gradebook for uh, scoring purposes only here. So, if you are K through 2 and you want to know how to score your assignments, which in this gradebook are called events, you are in the right place. So, let's get started. You need to log in, obviously, to the Skyward Gradebook using your Skyward Gradebook login, login ID and password. And you're going to go to Teacher Access. You're going to click on My Gradebook. You're going to pick one of your blocks here. I'm going to uh, pick Math because that's the one I've been messing with. And after it comes up here, you'll see that I've already entered in some assignments. And we've gone over this before. These assignments or events are under this skill. These assignments or events are under that skill. And so on and so forth. So you notice I already entered some scores in. And it gives you um, a score for the overall skill based on these. Then it's giving you a term one and a term grade right now. So I want to enter in some scores or show you how to enter in some scores. And I want to show you how this grade changes. So I'm going to enter in scores for this assignment, my fake math assignment three. So you, that's how you do it, is you click on the assignment. I'll go back because I went through that a little fast. I apologize. All I did to get to that screen was, let me wait for it to sort itself out here, was click on the name of the assignment. And then you'll see this is the information about the assignment. You come over here to score entry and you click on that. And this will let you score. So I'm going to en enter in some totally random made up scores. Now the score you're going to enter is not a 3 or 2 or a 1. The score you're going to enter this time is points because this is out of 20 points. So I'm just going to randomly uh, assign some scores there to some kiddos. And while we're here, if you look, you can mass assign. You can have everybody gets this many points. You can adjust all scores by a certain amount of points. You can remove everything. If you've realized you've totally messed up, <laughs> you can remove all the scores instead of having to delete them all one at a time. You can set all of them to not count at all. Or you can remove any time it says no count. You can remove anything that's missing because you can mark assignments as missing. See right here, no count missing. So if this is not going to count against the student, you check that box. If it's simply a missing assignment, they have not turned it in, you check that box. And again, you can put in comments here. Okay, So you can just write in your own. So you hit apply and then it'll happen. Okay, And then there's grade marks, special codes, you don't really have any uh, just yet, but grade marks are that 3, 2, 1 okay, and show the default value. There's really no reason to mess with that. Okay, so after you've you know messed with any mass assign options that you want, you entered in some scores, um, hit save. By the way, before I do that, mark unscored as zero and missing. You can do that as well. So if you have any that are blank and you want them to mark as zero and missing, you can do that all at once. So you're all done. You hit save. You're taken back to this screen. Now if you go back one more screen, be taken back to the grade book. Now I want you to see how the grades changed. Poor Ella here, she wasn't doing so hot. And she had a 3 and a 1. Now she's got a 2. Now she's getting a 70. She was doing way worse than that. So do you see how the scores here display as uh, 3, 2, and 1? They don't actually display as the points that you enter. Now they're still recorded. If you click on this assignment, and you come down here to the bottom, you'll see the score. So you can get a list of these. And you can see what grade that corresponds to as far as a 3 and a 2 and a 1. Okay. So they're still there. They didn't go anywhere. But that's how it's displayed in the standards grade book. Now speaking of display, there are certain event display options that you can choose from. So I'm actually going to click on this assignment again. And if you look over here, there's event display. You, can, you have some options here. You can show comments for all events. You can show the term grade and the fix. Really, skill grade. When they say skill grade, it's what they mean is that skill grade in that um, orange column Okay, for each skill. Not the grades that you're putting in for each assignment or event. It's that overall skill grade for each term. You can have it show up as a grade mark, and that's how it was showing up for us as a 3, 2, and a 1. You can also have it show as, an, as a percent 
or points. So I'm going to click points. I want to show you what this does and hit save and then go back. Now notice, you see now the skill grade, these are the skill grades right here. It's going to show them as how many points they got. Okay, it's still displaying these as that 3, 2, 1 proficiency scale. Okay, but here it's going to show points. Now you can go back and change that as well. You can click on any assignment really, it doesn't have to be a particular one. Event display will always show up. I can switch that back to a grade mark. And after it sorts itself out, boom, back to grade mark. So that's how it's going to set up and how to calculate grades. Remember, the blue is always some sort of grade calculation. These are skill grades. And then these are actual assignments or events underneath each skill. So that's how your standards grade book is set up. Okay. So that's how to score your assignments. That's how the grade book displays the scores. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. But we need to take a look at one more thing in a screencast. We're going to talk about how to get your class rosters all printed out. So I will see you in the next screencast.